Well, hello there. Whoa, sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. Or sneak into your personal bubble. It's just crowded in here. Well, not always. Sometimes you get a whole foot and a half of breathing room. I'm guessing by the question, you're not a regular, huh? Wait, shit. I should have said I know you're new because I would have remembered seeing a face like that before. That one's on me. Mind if I try again? I want to make a good first impression. Oh, really? Well, mission accomplished then. Pop the champagne. For the record, you're making a pretty good first impression too. Well, you didn't scream and you didn't throw your drink at me when I surprised you. Which is a very big step up from some of my first meetings. You'd think I'd learn, but apparently all it takes is a pretty face and a lapse in judgment before I'm freaking people out with my appearing act. Poof, here's a stranger directly behind you. Please remain calm. <laughs> right. I mean, it's not like I enjoy scaring people or anything. What would I even get out of that? Aside from occasionally having to go home and change. So, are you new to the area? Or just McCuddy's? We got a lot of travelers in here since it's close to like five or six hotels. <laughs> oh, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Well, if I had to guess, I'd say you're a local. Uh, it's elementary, my dear. If you analyze the makeup of the dirt on your boots, you'll find it's clearly indigenous to the area of... I'm kidding. It's because you're drinking a mocktail. That means you're someone's designated driver, right? Ergo, you're here for a friend. Which is such a shame. Wait, really? Then why are you drinking a virgin? Touche. I'll probably have a drink later, but for right now, I'm just... People watching. Can't say I run into a lot of similarly-minded individuals. <laughs> Alright. I can't say I sneak up on a lot of similarly-minded individuals. Better. My lifestyle makes it difficult to meet people during the day. And... Most of the popular hangouts past dusk are bars and clubs, so... I'm not saying I'm not here for the drinks, but... I'd rather someone chat me up than buy me a beer, you know? You smell amazing, by the way. Can't tell if it's what you're drinking or the scent you're wearing, but... Whatever it is, it's very sweet. Hmm. Probably the drink, then. What's that one called? A cosmic cupcake. <laughs> I can see where I got the name. Your whole mouth's gone blue, you know. Kinda makes the leather jacket look a little less intimidating. I didn't say I don't like it. It's a very cool jacket. And you look very cool with your blue raspberry tongue. <laughs> yes, I guess I'm also incredibly cool. Glad we've established that. Hey. You wanna get out of here, Cupcake? Cupcake. Cupcake. Finally! I was starting to think you'd never wake up. <laughs> well, rise and shine, good morning, and all that bullshit. I mean... Technically, it's late afternoon, but that's still insanely early for me to be awake. Makes me wish I could drink coffee. Though, come to think of it, I think you'd make a much better breakfast. By the way, you probably shouldn't try to... Stand up. <laughs> I'll get down there. Nothing broken? Good. 
You've been asleep for almost a whole day, Cupcake. You're not going to be standing up anytime soon. And you better forget running, too. So, if I help you back up onto bed, try not to fall off of it again, okay? Alright, up you go. You're lucky you didn't land on your face, you know. Could have broken your nose. Not really feeling up to dealing with that this early this evening. Oh, <laughs> stop glaring. It's clearly taking more energy than you have. Here, I got you a muffin while I was out earlier. You can interrogate me all you want while you eat. Deal? Of course, it's to get your blood sugar up. You can't really say no, though, can you? Let me rephrase that. You're in my home. In my bed. The only place with fewer options for you would be if I drag you into my coffin. And trust me, the only reason I didn't go that route was not wanting crumbs where I sleep. You don't have anywhere to run. And at this moment, you literally can't. So eat the damn muffin. I'm gonna make you. There. Oh, that's so hard. Honestly, it's like pulling teeth with you. Jesus. <laughs> Charming. Anyways. You were thralled for fuck knows how long, so it makes sense that you're disoriented. Just tell me where your memories break off and I'll fill it in from here. Yes, Cupcake. Thralled. Keep up. Well, I'm not getting into details, but you got picked up by an auction house. One of the ones that caters to a more bloodthirsty clientele. You're lucky I scooped you up or else you'd be dead by now. Of course you'll be dead later. You're mortal. By definition, you're guaranteed to die at some point. But if you meant later tonight, well, that's up to you. See, I saw you on display and I thought to myself, Oh, well. Cupcake was oh so honorable about settling up last time. I wouldn't mind being out again. But this is the second time I've saved your tasty ass. If I don't raise my prices, you're gonna get too reliant on me. I have to find some way of deterring you from situations where you might get killed by someone else. I told you. I don't like sharing. So. Three meals on you. When I want. Where I want. And no complaining. Sound fair? I didn't think so. But you're still gonna do it, right? That's what I like to hear. <laughs> I took the liberty of putting my number in your phone, so I'll text you when I want to cash in. The next two times, I mean. Obviously, tonight's round one. Finish eating cupcake. I'm not a patient vampire. <laughs> I've missed this. You were oh so boring with your brain scooped out. Though, I will admit, you at least look nice. Like you were already halfway drained. Oh, I'm offended you would even ask. Of course I took pictures. Wanna see? <laughs> All right, fine, Puritan. Fuck, look at that blush. I just want to bite your cheeks. I don't have to listen to any of your demands, Cupcake. 
those pictures are staying right where they are. And if it makes you feel any better, I promise not to let any other vampire drool over them. Really savoring that muffin, aren't you? Taking your sweet time with it, huh? Oh no, it's fine. But the longer you take doing that, the longer I'm gonna take when it's my turn. Christ, Cupcake, don't inhale it. You're gonna choke. <laughs> I don't know how you always manage to find ways to surprise me. You'd think I'd be used to this shit by now, but no. You're still as unpredictably stupid as ever. It's endearing. It's also gonna get you killed. But in the short term, it seems to be working out for you. Alright. Lift your knee up. I'm thinking the femoral artery this time. It hurts less than the neck, and it's easier to hide. Also... I don't need to justify myself to you. Remember the whole no complaining thing? You have a point. I do like hearing you complain. Fine. Restriction lifted. Now lift your leg. Much better. Just settle it across here. Is that comfortable? Not too much of a stretch, is it? Good. Good. Breakfast in bed has never smelled better. Deep breaths, cupcake. Now let it out slow. Ah. Uh. Mm. 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 Uh. Hey. Hey. Mm. Ow. Hair pulling. Really, Cupcake? Are you trying to make me tear a chunk out of your leg? Holy shit. You didn't even realize you were doing it, did you? Just grab the sheets, Hunter. Or here. I've got a free hand. All yours. Now let me finish eating so you don't bleed out all over my sheets. As much as a fun souvenir that would be. What a way to start the night. That was fantastic. Hunter. Hey, Hunter. Cupcake. There you go. Back with us. I need you to let go of my hand. I have to get you something to drink. <laughs> yeah, and some cookies too, I guess. Congratulations on finally getting them out of me. Was this your plan all along? Play wounded bird in front of me until I give you some baked goods. <laughs> Alright. Do us both a favor and don't try and stand up, okay? All you'll do is open the bite back up and bleed out on my floor. I'll be five minutes at most, okay? Oh, and one last thing. <laughs> oh, come on. You knew it was coming. Okay, okay, okay. I really am going now. Stay. Oh, good, Hunter. 